just get quick information on all of the hype plays that happen, including all of these plays we see at a sharp today and all these other great contenders. It is a downloadable app on iOS. And currently, us Android users got to hold an L, but they are working on the development for that too. And it is uh, one of my favorite ways to catch up on anything that I'm missing. So, getting into game number one, this one is a true flashback to the last Smash game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, if you're a frog and you just know that Sharp's been carving his way through the losers, how do you approach this? Like, what do you uh, do if, if you're Bayo to deal with Sheep? Exactly what you just did, out of shield game. You need to use a lot of off bees out of shield. You want to use your short hop aerials to kind of check the pressure that Sharp's going to float on you. Because every time Sharp makes a mistake, you come out with way more damage than uh, he does. You also have a really good ability to stall off stage. So it's not going to be as easy to get confirmed. But if you get consistently mixed up on your landing, I don't know so much about that. You got to try and get the early KOs on Sharp before you can get them on you. Because this is actually a weird matchup where both of them kind of struggle... Uh, to get the KOs as the percent climbs. We're also seeing Town City for the first time during our stint on stream, which is nice. Oh. And I think a big reason why is because of how swiftly that man exited stage left. The forward yep. smash got a KO, and that forward smash as well just decking him right in the face. It, it, the, the smaller side blast zones are very, very good for both of these characters here. Yeah. Personally, I love to see it because it just means when somebody's getting corner pressured, the other, the other players get swing. Yeah, honestly, that's the best That's the best time to do it. Like, ledge trapping and better punishes. Because Sharp's biggest thing is getting the punish and then dipping when it's not safe anymore because you're viable to get hit by something like a Witch Time or Accidental Bats within. But for Bayo, she wants to capitalize on when you overextend. So it's kind, of, it's kind of like a really good cat and mouse game between this matchup. Oh, no, that's a bad place for Sharp to get caught, but he manages to escape the Witch Twist. That is what we would have said. Yeah, that does suck. That also, just knowing how to SDI out of those strings is going to be huge. Just jumping directly front, though. And speaking of the SDI, I'm pretty sure he SDI directly yeah. out of that again. So he just fell down. And that is good matchup knowledge for Sharp, which is going to be a real pain for Frog as the match goes. Frog really needs to capitalize on these moments where he actually has Sharp juggled up in the air. But right now, again, the S-Smash doing all the talking for Sharp at the end of the day. Yep, keep it consistent, keep it clean. There's no reason to go complicated. You don't have to work for that big combo string if somebody's constantly letting you get that hit. This should do it, though. Yeah. But so far, the pace is still favoring Sharp because he's able to pull ahead briefly despite Frog not wasting too much time to catch, right, catch him right back up. Frog has to change that now. Oh, here you go. Yeah, you capitalize on those mistakes. That air dodge away didn't get too much out of it, but I like the fact that Frog is not one to usually drop a combo. He's usually really good at kind of pushing and keeping the pressure up. This character is just, like, Sheik's just so nimble, it's pretty easy to get away from him when she can. Yeah. Like, look at, oh my god, just look at that frame trap. Like, you just sit there, you, you, you avoid the forward air, right? But then you take the dash attack. Now you're forced off stage. He finally finally got away from Sharp's pressure, but he didn't. The heel slide, though. Here we go. Oh, and again, Sharp managing to just fall out. Yeah, and this is down to the wire here already in game number one. Both of them, basically, this is one bad mistake away from Sharp. Like, oh, that was so close. Sharp playing with fire up there on the top of the platform, because if you get it, that would have been great. But Bayo can't get oh, super no. good kills. Watch your jump. Oh, man. Sharp just chasing, chasing Frog down here. Oh, you can see Frog fishing for up tilt to back air. That's what he's looking yeah, for. Yeah, you right need now. it. Oh, 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 oh. No, oh, I'm missing no punishes, no waste time. AB, I... short, short ABKs are going to be kind of a problem now to be because Sharp has been jumping a lot. He's trying to look for, he's trying to look for an answer. Maybe catch a drag down up air on something where Frog tries to jump. Oh, get on dash God, attack's is... not going to do it. Oh, oh Frog just went to the eye. What's the, what's the get up option off the ledge? What do you choose? Decides to cover. Doesn't get anything out of it though. Frog's gonna get solid stage positioning here from the from the throw. Quarter throw might actually kill Sheik at this point too. Oh, big downer from from Sharp. Oh my God. See, and this is this is why oh, I oh, the, the, oh, literal gosh, shadows shadows of their four to ourselves because this in, <laughs> look how hard oh. his back throw won't do it we'll just do it. yet. No, no, yeah, even with the side blast zones, that's not a super strong uh, KO yeah. option there. But it can get it probably with another 15% or so. These dash attacks just doing nothing. Oh, 
I'm no, shooting no. shield pokes! <laughs> oh, whoa. Well. <laughs> and that's such a hard call out, too, from Fraud. Like, the just the moment recognition. Fraud being like, oh, this is now the time to drop this one move I haven't used pretty much the entire game. Yeah, hold on to those bag of tricks until the very end, because you saw how ridiculous it was at the end. They were doing yeah. such a good job of boxing with each other, and then when they got the KO Ooh. percents, they were just literally flailing at each other like they were drunk at a bar, like just yeah. hoping one of those hits would hit. And you can't. That's what you got to do. You you literally oh, have to just get a hard call after a certain point in this in so, this matchup. So Ajax, you can't witch time grab. Uh, I no. swore I thought. Okay, okay. No, 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 absolutely not. No, that's one of the only, that's one of the better. It, the, you, you wait for the wish time to go off and then you grab it. But yeah, you it actually be an actual active hitbox for which time to go off. Got it. <laughs> this is worth losing 1k. <laughs> Tell you uh -oh. man, the the prediction edition that they put on Twitch has changed everybody. I be seeing people just attacking mods. It's like, yo, I gotta bet my money, man. Let me get my <laughs> points. <laughs> People with like a couple hundred thousand points based off of betting, just quoting that one Chappelle bit. <laughs> <laughs> Chappelle show. All right, Frog. Yeah, this is this is good for Frog. Now that Frog has a game up and like has kind of figured out. Okay, it's not been easy for Sharp to find those KOs at the end, except for when I directly air dodged right down in front and get one of the most interesting looking DI fadeaways because you were trying to air dodge in. <laughs> And then it's just right back with the up smash. This this is the recklessness. This is what we love to see. They don't even give us a minute to even like tell the people what's going on. I mean, good I get, lord. I get, it, it, they they don't. They, they they keep us on our toes. I love it. Just keep this match going fast. Oh, what a, for a second there, I thought Frog was gonna start carrying Shark to bully off stage off that one parry. Uh oh, nice grab Watch jump. Oh, the platform. Oh. The platform actually kind of helped a little bit there because he got, it forced Sharp in a position where he's a little bit too far ahead, so he couldn't really just react to the air dodge. Escape by Frog. He was trying to slow play, but Sharp was like, nah, nah, nah we're gonna keep going my pace. Okay, there we go. Uh, ban, man, ban bats within. That's <laughs> that is easily my least favorite thing about Fail amongst all things. See uh, right there, yeah, you get some openings, but you got a get out of jail free card. <laughs> all right, solid going to sheer dash attack. Now Sharp's driving again. You can see Frog is kind of trying to get back some momentum over and over again sharp is denying it but here we go yeah it's uh, a lot of it has to do with like sharp has really changed up the pace of the the play oh wow perfectly timed spot dodge to avoid that off smash i thought that was gonna catch him at the end of it this is a hard punish right here yeah. though don't do that twice in front of me Oh, look at the reset attempt. He knew that the up you was going to happen or some type of air dodge down. Like, Sharp oh. is, Sharp's playing the wait and see approach now and waiting for you to blow your defensive option off stage like that. Died at 30%. The beautiful dash back to dash in to set up that entire sequence was just galaxy brain level. Oh my God. That is, that. remember when I was talking about how the platform moving actually messed up sharp a bit that's why sharp couldn't react to the air dodge last time so it actually helped a little because frog yeah. was in this headset like oh i got away with it last time right i'll be fine yeah. <laughs> no no chic off the edge of the stage is still a problem yeah she can't kill by the way exactly exactly <laughs> This is funny. If you would have told me I would have gotten super excited about watching Sheik and uh, Bayonetta in 2021, I would have told you you're crazy as hell. But we get, we we got it going. This is what quarantine's done to us, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> We're slowly falling apart here. But this is great. Like, just watching this high-level play between these two, Sharp's made a couple of solid adjustments. It's like I said, one of the best things that Bayonetta has going for her in terms of somebody who's super aggro is the out-of-shield game. Like that. Short hop fair doesn't beat that up beat. But Sharp has been playing more passive, and it's been working a lot better. Yeah, I mean, the aggression has served Frog pretty well, especially in game one. But you can Ooh. see that it's starting to become a little indistinguishable from a panic. Frog's got to just yep. get, get their head straight and figure this out. Nice uh, punish out of uh, Perry right there. Yeah, hey, I, I agree with what you said, too. And it seems like Frog is starting to do exactly that. Start, Frog's kind of getting control of the pace of the game, looking for that high recovery, and oh. trying to find it. I actually like that. You're pressuring to the side, right? So it makes it look like, okay, 
I don't want to go to the right because I'll get killed by something. So you hard read them going to center stage, except Sharp's off through it. Oh, just how the shield dropped there, but Sharp is moving. Oh, I was going to say he was moving so confusingly, but Frog was able to target him there with that big kill. Oh, oh, Bats Within. It would look. You will never find somebody who loves you as much as Bats Within loves Bayo. That I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I, I, I don't mean to get chat down bad, but Bats Within is the ultimate relationship. It just keeps everything working for Bayo when it needs it the most. Uh oh. I'm just so impressed by both players' abilities. Get out of dodge back and forth right now. Yeah, they're playing oh, it smart. No. Oh, well, all right. So, so something that is in the contractual obligation of playing Bayonetta is that you must SD at least once. When that you're <laughs> oh, 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 if only that was a harder hitbox. I, I wanted that to kill. <laughs> Frog's trying to go to that same well a couple times. Too many. Oh, <laughs> look at that. There's the one time batch within, within fails, and it's the drilling up to up air. Yeah, well, okay, so okay, so that's like the one of the few times multi hits will actually work in this game. If you got multi hits every other time, it'll cause you issues, but <laughs> apparently it's the ulti deal, oh, and the backer is gonna take it. What was that, like 92? That's Shart, great. Shark missed spaces half smash <laughs> once, and Frog's like, cool, up tilt back air. Mm -hmm. That's like the first time I've seen somebody actually say cut that out. Like, the amount of times that Sharp has gotten away with forward smashes since we've seen him join the stream, I can only imagine how many times it happened before that. Well, the parry run up grab. Nice confidence in that. And waiting, waiting out the defensive options, giving him the opportunity to ABK. Oh, you're dead! Oh! I just right, kept, expecting, I kept expecting Sharp to figure the SDI out on that one. But Fraud just. Staying real solid, persevering, and taking game three right there. So one thing that is uh, that that like SDI, you do you do need a SDI, but you can react to SDI too. So if if Frog was maybe anticipating like the down and away, might have followed that. Like I almost want to see the replay to take a second look. But I mean, that's kind of that's like poetic <laughs> justice, right? Like you 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 sniped me off stage before with that with that thirty percent KO last game. And then I get you off the side of the stage finally with this forward air. This this set is kind of hype. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually like pretty been pretty. No, they're hard. they're swinging. <laughs> they are swinging. It's, it's good to see. Fro Wait, frog? No, I I have frog. What? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> maybe maybe that kind of like stage carry is the frog. Is what they're trying to say. But anyway, we're in game mm -hmm. four. Back on town city. I did say somebody say that this game has basically been like the no you punish. Like <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally every single everything between these two, it's just been like the simplest activity. But it's been working so well. Just simplify the game, play it simple. Oh, follow that. Continue to follow it, and unfortunately doesn't get the uh, the tilt on the bottom of the stage. Frog right now is just trying to get out of first gear. Yeah, pretty much amplify it. I, something I'm surprised Sharp hasn't been doing as the set has gone on, especially after those downers, is like moving that shield up. He's been kind of letting that shield drop low. Like those downers have been blowing him up a bit. Even though it's only at 21%, I just feel like you'd almost have that stuck in your brain at this point, right? I think part of it is he doesn't want to feel like psyched out to jump or to react to the jump. Oh! Oh, oh no! No, no. <laughs> you, you can't hold that one. Whoever Sharp has managed to drop the up hitbox like that in key moments, it's really been the difference. Because now, Frog's got their work cut out from. Oh, big up smash. I was trying to get another down air punish, but it just didn't quite work like game one. Yeah, Sharp finally not getting clipped by one of those for a change, and you got to be happy about that. He's getting getting put into repeated vortexes now. He's trying to find his way back to the ground. Also, good matchup knowledge. Oh my god! Bats within you ruined the hypest moments. I hate you, but you gotta be you gotta be happy for Frog. That was easily an eighty percent KO from Sharp right there. Sharp was again looking for the needles about to push confirm. I'm just saying, can I get bats within? Like, can I, can I get it? Not, <laughs> like I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to go bats. 
Yeah, actually, yeah, just like whenever whenever I'm like in a situation where somebody's stalking me too long and I like I just keep going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just bats within out of there. Just like, just like I, I want I want something like that. <laughs> Use it for all situations in life. DMV bats within. Ooh, bats within go. ain't voided that one though. Fraud right now. Trying to do their best to avoid a game four situation, but Sharp is very much pushing this. Yeah, Sharp. Sharp's kind of like kind of got the download on this game right here. Figured out the way that uh, Frog was calling out a lot of jumps. Fourth row will do it. However, one of the things that you need to do from this point forward is take advantage of this stock lead. Get big damage, be willing to trade, and get Bayo that much closer to kill percent so you can just snipe an early one. Good patience by Sharp is weathering all these hitboxes and frog. These, plat man, these platforms really don't like Sharp. <laughs> the platforms <laughs> constantly <laughs> dip every time Sharp's trying to follow something. <laughs> Oh, solid punish! And oh. man, you know what? At this point, I just I just expect it. I, I don't think up smash is allowed to work for sharp in this set. <laughs> Which actually is adjustable. If you realize that he's constantly falling out of that and getting bats within, then what happens? You just assume that they're air, gonna air dodge away, right? Then you punish it with forward smash. Uh oh. Oh no, drag down. But try to go for the sky. The... Oh no. Yeah, up smash is just not oh. allowed to work. Frog has done everything in his power to just prevent up smash from ever working. Wait, yeah, wait for the defensive option. No punish there, though. A big ass smash whip and sharp right there is like, okay, it's time to end this. Yeah, we're that, going I'm, game five. That's one of those hard reach moments where it's like, it's not even like a terrible idea. You have rage. And if you get sharp, like trying to push to find the KO, you just put that forward smash out there. So it was a it, not a terrible idea, but if you mistake that, does cost you the game. Going to game number five for loser semis. Next, oh my God, Ape Bit Man is just never allowed to have a good time. Like I swear, every time Ape, I, I'm cursing Ape Bit Man too. Not only would he have to fight possibly Sheik which sharp has a tremendous amount of experience fighting that matchup against robs or bayo which is one of the worst matchups match for, for rob <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah I, I mean if it's frog we're probably seeing the diddy kong if I it's guess we could, we'll uh, see the rob i guess we could say that ape man is suffering from success I mean, pretty much. That's a good problem to have, right? Like when you're when you're losing and losers finals, but it's just you're kind of just having to constantly run into these bad, bad matchups. Yeah, exactly. Kalos for game five. I think it's the first appearance of this stage of the night. Yeah, actually, this is kind of interesting because this is a like this stage. Who, who's counter pick was this? This was frogs, right? Oh, this makes sense. This makes it significantly harder for Sheik to get KOs. It is a much wider blast zone stage. Uh, for uh, for both of them. So Sheik has to work that much harder to get KOs. And then Bayo can kind of play around that platform really well. I think it's going to be heavily based on how good Sharp is at getting the drag downs into KOs in this one. You don't have to worry about stage to Blast Zone when your primary kill sequence involves you just using all the Blast Zone area. And that's, that's what it is for Bayo. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You're braver than me. Oh. I'll tell you that. Forward air ain't gonna do it yet, though. That it's uh, it, it's you, you need quite a bit of knockback up on top to get that KO. A little bit more, though. You find another sequence like that, it could do it. It's evasion there by Sharp. Oh, trying to go for the other smash again. <laughs> Just down air each other. You'll have to see it. The I feel I feel like we're watching a cinematic film, like the constant slow motions. I didn't know Zack Snyder was the one that was like directing this match right now. It, oh, watch your landing! That fourth throw's not gonna KO, but what do you do about the uh, recovery back up? Try and cover him with back airs. Doesn't get anything out of it though. Speaking of oh. back air, Kalos coming clutch. I mean, the big problem is that Sheik still has better ledge uh, trapping tools than Bayo does. Doesn't matter though. Oh, throw, fourth throw's not gonna get the kill. Frog, oh, going deep there. I like it. The jump was already used, right? So even if you don't get anything afterwards, you could possibly get the up B, but the back air does close it. All right, how you feeling? How you feeling? What's your prediction? Who, who you got? Who you got? Uh, if you had, so if you had far, to put money on it right now, who you thinking? I, I, I put money on fraud. So far, they're winning this war of attrition. So I'm actually, just from what I've been watching, 
I'm almost willing to bet that it's going to be Sharp. Because even though Sh uh, Frog has this lead right now, Sharp has pl been playing in a way that's been like super passive. But also, I mostly just did that so I could just choose whatever one that you picked because I would have done exactly <laughs> that same thing again. And I do. <laughs> but... I was like, I, I'll, do, I'll do the pro wrestling announcer thing and take the person that's leading first so that my co-host can uh, strategically take the other one. Yeah. Right, are, you, are you the king? Oh gosh, no, please. I don't want to talk about, <laughs> I don't want to talk about puppies on TV. Oh channel. my god. I mean, we talk, we do talk about flying, uh, flying, flying dogs, but there's no duck hunt on screen right now, folks. But Frog's bayonetta versus Sharp's cheek, and Frog is still living. Ajax, can you believe this? I'm telling you, man, this is a tremendous pick from Frog to go here. It's so much harder for Sheik to find those KOs because of this wide blast zone. Like you pretty much need to bring bayonetta to 100 plus. Dash attack will finally do it at the ledge, but you, you, you've got, you've got to find some early KO at the bottom of the stage. Right now, Sharp is just playing so costly. A lot of dash shield right now. Yep, keep the pressure up. Get us out 31% just from making one mistake. Oh, this is so tense right now. They, they, like, literally, like, the next right. stock the next <laughs> stock actually matters so much because it's so hard for both of them to get the KOs, or, uh, like, in this matchup hey, on you're the looking stage. for the next whiff like, punish, but every whiff punish could turn into another, like, opposite whiff punish right now. That's just how these two are playing. These are two players playing these characters at in a tremendously high level. Yeah, it's all... Uh, they're almost playing it similar to the way you see people... Oh, what? oh, never mind. The back air is going to get him on the air to air. Legs. She's got legs. And man, that back air hits like a truck. True enough. The, oh my God. This is going to get rough for Sharp now. Sharp has to pretty much keep the damage to like zero. He needs to have perfect defense. Ooh. Finally, one works, but it doesn't get the KO. Here comes Frog now with the response. But man, Sharp again just dipping out of these early percent combos. Oh, but landing directly in again. You see Frog recognize, like, oh, you're trying to get aggressive here. I am not fit to try a batch within the meal toss, but here comes Frog. Yep, capitalizing on that damage, looking for maybe a jump away with that back air. And the bats within coming in even after that stops the forward smash punish. Oh, that might be it. Wow, Frog. Wow, wow, wow. Your face is actually caved into the back of your head right now. That was a solid forward smash punish. Frog's going to take it 3-2 over Sharp.